Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today is such an exciting day as we are headed up to the track at Barcelona to go and spend the weekend at the Formula One Grand Prix. We are currently in the city centre of Barcelona and we have been for the last couple of days. So if you would like to check out that vlog if you haven't already seen it, I will link it up there. But we are now headed to a smaller town up by the track to spend the weekend and we are just about to set off. We have so much planned. We're sitting in the main grandstand, which is super exciting. Make sure to stay tuned. This is gonna be one long vlog for the whole of the weekend and let's go. I don't like the sound. Yeah, same. Same. R2. This is our train. Woohoo! Wait, what, what happened? Don't know. You just walk? No, I'm not content. Are you just walk? <laughs> How embarrassing. Oopsie. So we've made it. We went on, if anybody's interested, we went on the R2 North train and we've got off at the second, it's called Granoyers, the place that we're staying. The second stop, it's like Granoyers North. It has a longer name than that, but I can't remember. It was $3.85 per person for a single ticket, I believe. The Euros. The Euros, not dollars, because we're in Europe. Anyway, um, it's now about just less than a mile walk to our hotel. So we're Point literally... 7. 0.7 of a mile walk to our hotel. So we're just walking there. But what we've seen like since we got off the train like two seconds ago, this like little town seems really nice. Like it's really clean. There's hardly any graffiti. It's just, yeah, it just has a really nice vibe about it. So we are very pleased. And we went past the track on the way. We did. We could hardly see it though because it was like, there was stuff in the way. But anyway, we did go past the track. We found our hotel. It's this thing right here. Looks pretty nice. So we shall see. I'll give you guys a room tour when we get in. So we have now made it to our hotel and it is so nice. It's kind of, it's like a budget hotel, I would say. Two, Two stars two-star hotel okay so it's probably like a travel lodge but it's really nice i couldn't tell you how much it cost us it was quite cheap though and we've got a family room it's called the b&b &B hotel i think it's a chain um granoyers and we have got a family room so i will show you guys around the room but first a woman just knocked on our door and she gave us these i don't know why so we have plastic three bottles of water or like cartons Two packets of crisps and two packets of sweets. I've never seen anything like that before. Anyway, so we walk into the room and we have like a little desk and we did not think we got one, but we have a fridge. It doesn't feel freezing, but we'll figure that out. Anyway, we then carry on. We have a giant TV on the wall. We have a single bed, which doesn't look too tiny to be fair. It looks quite substantial. It's very soft. A little wardrobe with like some storage at the top, hangers and like a shelf at the bottom. A little side table with a phone and a remote. This is our view, we're on the bottom floor, we're in room 107. But this is quite nice because it's not really overlooked, it's just like a little garden view. We then have the main bed, which is just like a standard double I believe. Charging ports on either side of the bed. There's only one on either side though, it seems. And then this is the bathroom. I, saw, I heard online like it's not very private. It's kind of like translucent, but I think it's fine. Unless you're staying with a random but that's kind of a weird idea. Anyway, we just got the toilet, a bin, Ikea bin. I own that actually, irrelevant. Hair dryer, a sink with a mirror. There's like a little shelf here to put your toiletries on, but if you're gonna come with like loads of stuff, you might have to leave it in the main room. And then a massive shower. I feel like the shower head might be letting us down a bit because that's the shower head, the only one. But anyway, and then towels up there, bath mat. It seems fine. Everything seems really good. Everything's really clean. Oh, I guess the door doesn't lock either. So, but anyway, whatever. It doesn't really matter to us. 
So there we are. Also, Rach just noticed there's an AC unit up here. It's not really that hot at the moment, but if it might it's... might be heated as well if it's cold in the winter. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like it is. So, there is that positive as well. I'm just pleased with the snacks in the fridge, to be honest. Okay. They're the main points that are good. Also, I completely forgot to say that it's currently quarter to one. Check-in isn't until two, and we just asked if we could check in, and she said yes, if there is a room available, which there was. So I wouldn't say like you can guarantee to come early, but if you do come a bit earlier, I think as long as it's after 12, because that's check-out time. Or I guess if it's just like really not busy at all and there was free rooms, then you might be fine. Um, but definitely if you get there a bit early, it's worth asking, because you just don't know. We are now settled, so we can start going. We're gonna head out to the track very soon because we have a pit lane walk this afternoon we are just headed to our local supermarket which is very very close to our hotel to get some um supplies now that we know we have a fridge in our room we can buy whatever we want look at our mini trolley it's actually so it's like normal size but it's just really shallow like this way anyway let's see what we can buy Hummus pepper with peppers all oh, right classic then classic. <laughs> i feel like look it might be classic this. One Pound euro, five cents. That's big. That is big. Whoa, Olives in it. Whoa, it's a three pack. Perfecto. Yeah, we'll put each day, love. Yes, lovely. What crisps do we want? It's hard because we don't know what the flavours are, unless it says and it. Flavour. <laughs> I don't, I think it's cheese. Yeah, I think it's like football flavour. <laughs> like, what is this? Snail flavour. <laughs> These look fun. No, they don't. I mean, they do a Potato bit. Sticks. Oh, come on, these look Go fun. on, get them, get them, get them. We don't have them in England. Okay, but we might have to get another one just in case they're gross. This is well good. Six orange juices for 150. Let's get those. What's the ice cream situation? Oh, darn it. Mochi. Mochi mango. That's a bargain. Two euros 80 for six mochi. Are they vegan? Let's check. We could just eat them all in one go. Yeah. Although that is a bit wild. Nope. Uh, it says traces of milk. No, Boo. We tried. Please, please. Right, these are in. We're not 100% sure, so please don't come for me, but we think they're vegan. Right, what do we want? That's the question. These? Oh, yeah, let's get them. They're one euro ten for all of them. Let's get them. We've hit the jackpot. One fifty-five. Do we want forks, knives, or spoons? We now have like one of each. No, you have to you have to have a whole packet. Which one is the most versatile? I feel like spoons. These mini spoons. This is what we want. They're so teeny, but this is what we want. Yeah, but we can also cut bread with them. Yeah. Spread. Spread. And that you can eat yogurt. That American lady, she spreads with spoons. Plus, you could use the other end. Right. This is what we're getting. We missed this whole section. We can literally just buy a bunch of croissants in a bag for one eighty-five. That's what I need. Oh, donuts. If these are vegan, we're going to get them immediately. Oh, they've got egg in it. Ruined. This is, yeah, this is one. This is our little shopping haul. I also got these soya yogurts and some chocolate muesli, which is vegan. We also got some shampoo because the hotel didn't really have any. Right. Oh, sorry, I need to go pay over here. Twenty-six dollar euros. Never know what currency we're in. Guys, look at this. We just got back to the hotel. This is the layout. How amazing. We are literally just gonna make some sandwiches now uh, and then we're gonna head off to the track. So we're just walking on our way to the bus, but I don't know if the camera kind of shows it. We're on this ginormous hill. It's so steep. This is like where I did my hill start on my driving test. It was catastrophic. It's fine going down, but the only bad part is at some point we're gonna have to come back up. Like, look at these views. It's crazy. This is so nice. We're about to get run over. But yeah, we have to walk up this hill again later, which is not going to be fun. Where is Apple Maps taking us? I feel like, again, you can't see this, but we're literally on like a gravel path <laughs> going down this giant hill. If I fall, oh my God. Oh, 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 oh. Go that way, go forward. Oh my God. Yeah, we saw some like guys that were talking about the F1, so they were clearly going there and they went a different way towards and we didn't follow them. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I regret it. Oh my god, if they come out down there, I'm gonna be so mad. Guys, I made it. We're back safe on the street. Oh my god. This is a mission in itself. Okay, well, hopefully we're nearly at the bus now, so this should be okay. Things have gotten interesting. We were here about 20 minutes before the bus was supposed to be here, so we obviously we waited that long. The bus has not shown up and it's almost been half an hour since it was supposed to be here and they are every half an hour so the next bus is supposed to be here in three minutes so 
So we're gonna wait to see if that bus shows up. If it doesn't, we're gonna go try and get the train because this is taking way too long. And in future, we might get the train instead. Also, there's literally a thunder and lightning going on in the background. So it's just, it's getting a bit wild, but I will hopefully update you guys when we get there very soon. Yes, our bus is finally here. Well, we've made it. I'm supposed to cut it. No, 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 it's okay. <laughs> I did it wrong already. <laughs> Day one, did it wrong. Thank, Thank you. you. Look at this view. Wowzers. We have made it. The bus came eventually. Actually, like two seconds after I filmed the clip saying the bus wasn't coming. But it was two euros 40 each, a single ticket, and you have to pay in cash. Thankfully, we did have cash with us. We also met this really nice English couple who we chatted to the whole way, and they found us the way because we had no idea what we were doing. And we are now inside the track, so let's see what we can find. This seems pretty cool, actually. So we've got food stalls over here. We don't know what prices are like. 250 for something 450 for french fries it seems like the prices are fairly reasonable it's all alcohol free but they've still got heineken alcohol free beer no wonder it's not busy nobody cares about alcohol free beer let's see what the merch situation is Look at the new bag. so hats are 60 pounds that is a lot really isn't it yeah tops are anywhere from like 60 to 100 and odd the coat is 230 i do like the coat though so apparently this stand up here is where we're going to be sat. I don't know exactly where, but it's in like the main grandstand part. We'll go find our seats at some point, possibly tomorrow though. Simulators have still got a big queue. The last lane that we went to yesterday. If you want to see that, you'll have to go watch last week's vlog because we're not doing it again. I'm scarred. McLaren section, very orange. Okay, a giant TV is being transported. So apparently these are our seats. This is like a whole map of the track. Apparently we're sat here. That's the finish line. There's a screen there or there. That's quite far away. What? Yeah, that's the pits. Finish line. Yeah, but where, there's only two screens. Yeah, I know. So that's rough. We'll be one way or the other. Yeah, we will. So as far as we can tell, this is where we're going to be sat. We're on the first level right now, so we're going to be sat up there at the top of the second level. But the problem is, this is a really good seat. We're across from Alfa Romeo and McLaren. But the problem is, it's not a screen, so we don't know what we're going to be able to see. But we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. So the start line's right there. Baby girl is going to be right there. Yeah, that's good. Okay, guys. Things have changed a little bit. We've come up to the top floor to find our actual seats. And it turns out the zones are different on the top floor. And we're going to be right across from Mercedes. This could not have worked out better. We found our seats. Oh, right. Because we're a bit further this way. We've got a screen there. There's actually two. Oh, yeah. We can There's one that facing way. that way and one facing that way. But also we've got the tower just there yeah. so we can see the order because that is way too far but then if any action's happening away from here we can watch it on those two screens also missing garage mclaren garage and kind of everybody else they're the main two that we like we obviously did it on purpose it was not an accident we booked the end seats on purpose but that's really good so we sat right on the end oh yeah you might not be able to see it on the camera, but you can actually see. That's why the top deck is better. Yeah, you can, you can see, see part of the track over there. So you'll be able to see Ooh, it down. And that bit. bit here. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's oh, like oh, oh yeah. we can basically see the whole track from here. Right, let's just stay here till Sunday night then. And this is why I love the people behind us. Oh, Skyview Lounge. Lounge. There's literally one row and then it's us. It's very hospitality. Oh my gosh, guys. We've killed it with our seat choice. And we're right across, that's the paddock club right there. We can spy on people, see if we, we could see famous people right there. I didn't even show you guys. We clearly planned this as well, but that's the start line right there. The, the finish line is kind of there, if you can see it. I don't know if you can see it, but it's literally right there. Yes, podium. Where, oh yeah, podium's right there. We are gonna do a pitch invasion, as it were, although this is not the football. As soon as they finish and we're allowed to go, we're gonna go on the track. We're gonna yeet ourselves over this balcony. <laughs> I don't know how we're gonna get down there fast, but we are gonna go. Guys, I don't know how good it'll be because obviously the cars are way flatter, but over there, you can see the truck going around the track with all the people on. So that's obviously the other part of the track. 
so hopefully we should be able to see what's going on up there. Also I noticed I didn't film it before, you might have seen. We can see the lights out and away we go lights. And safety car deployed sign, I guess that's what they actually put there. <gasps> Look at all that action going, I don't know if the camera picks it up very well, but you can see so much going on over there. This is the best seat ever. We've finally moved. We're going to test out what it's like just to stand here. Because if it's not that busy tomorrow, we can probably stand here. Yep, it's just a tiny bit closer, really. It's not that much different, but it's pretty cool. This might be TMI, but I'm going to give you guys a Thursday afternoon toilet review. Because <laughs> we haven't been in them yet, and we just want to kind of see what they're like, how bad they might be. They looked quite clean, though, and I guess they've not been used that much yet. I guess it locks. There's a sink in this one. Got a loo roll, but they don't have toilet seats. Yeah, I think so. Oh, I don't know actually. Okay, I don't know if it locks really, but who cares? So, review on the toilets, Rach is not happy. There was no toilet seat, no, no way to dry hands, and the doors didn't really lock that well. But, as of right now, the smell wasn't that bad, they had toilet roll, and they weren't like dirty or disgusting, but I feel like by Sunday that could be a very different story. I do not know. Also, all the food stores are shut, which I'm pretty sure it's still since last year when me and Kate went on Thursday. Everything was open. But I guess if you're gonna come on Thursday, obviously I can't talk for future years, but bring a packed lunch like we did because you just don't know if everything's gonna be shut or not. We are now just basically walking around the track to see what we can find. Sorry if this isn't focused very well, that's really annoying. Uh, but I'll update you guys if anything interesting happens. So we've just come to this part and we've found that like, if you can see there's loads of like wooden benches over there and from what we can only assume, all of that is gonna be like your general admission kind of seats. Which to be fair, I think that's pretty good. You don't even have to bring your own chair, you can just sit on a wooden bench. No roofs though. A lot of the stands don't have roofs either. Ours is that one all the way over there, which does have a roof. But a lot of them don't. So make sure to bring a poncho. Yeah. Yeah. So all of these ones do have roofs actually. It's obviously just look at the drawer. Like Why? It's got a big run off. Oh. We can see that from our seats. Yes. We don't know if this is really loud, although it can't not be because it's like an open fence, but we're on the track. Yeah, we're going. So they're facing backwards like this gentleman here. That means you're Don't know, but they were filming me filming them, so that was fun. Apparently Nico is right over there, but I can't actually see him. So we've just found this um, water bottle filler upper situation. <laughs> that was not the right word. Do you want to fill yours up? I feel like your water's worse than mine. Let's see what happens. It's automatic. Is it cold? Cold-ish. Cold-ish. Does it taste nice? Is that water? They're just gonna go in. Ram in and it's gonna be bad. So the pit lane opens in three minutes for anyone to just go and see. Um, but this is the queue and it goes all the way miles down there. But over here it's just absolute carnage. Like uh, th no, this isn't an orderly queue. queue. Nobody no. Says there's a queue. So we're gonna come back later. In 25 minutes, some of the F2 and F3 drivers are gonna be on the stage, and literally no one's here yet because I guess they're not that popular. But we're gonna sit and wait because why not? And by the way, for reference, our stand is just there, so very close. So the drivers should be out in about five minutes, but we've just had the realization that the Spanish drivers or the Spanish speaking drivers might speak in Spanish. So it might not be quite as good as we thought. But we're here anyway, so we're just gonna wait and find out. Circuit to Barcelona, Catalonia. In a few minutes, we will have the F2 and F3 drivers on stage. Buenas tardes. Pues, damas y caballeros, por favor, den la bienvenida a nuestros pilotos de Formula 2, J.M. Correa, from Van Amersfoort, Enzo Fittipaldi from Carlin, Jack Dillon from Virtuosi, and Brad Benedides from Charouz. Buenas tardes todos. Come on over, if you're just coming back to the pit walk, why not come and listen? We have two drivers. Yeah. It is. Just go for it. Uh, um, the weather's awesome. I think it was supposed to rain this afternoon, but we have sunshine, so that's great. And hopefully the weather holds up over the weekend. It's 
been super unpredictable recently, especially our test here was as well, so it'll be great to have a nice hot weekend. Yeah, I mean, uh, testing was, um, you know, very productive. We learned a lot in the, in the three days of testing we did here. Yo creo que es bastante uh, el mismo. I think it's just finishing. That was so good. So, bad news is, I'd say 70% of the interviews and questions were in Spanish, and we do not speak fluent Spanish, especially when it's that fast. And yeah, she didn't know either, and she could speak Spanish. But the positive is, we got all seven of the drivers' autographs and photos, so we are so happy. We're now going to head to the pit lane walk. I think we have another hour until it closes. So this is currently the situation waiting for the pit lane walk we don't really know what's happening and it's not a queue it's just a load of people standing waiting for something or nothing to happen i, I don't know but we're, we're one of them we are part of those people who don't really know what's happening so. they open the fence before yeah they open it and then everyone just goes in maybe but we don't know how long we'll have to wait we've moved to a new spot because we wanted to be in the shade but we have been waiting for like over 45 minutes and we're still not in and according to their schedule the pit lane closed in 15 minutes so this is not looking good but somehow we're still waiting i do not know as i said we're still waiting we've just been chatting to a really nice spanish couple um, and they said they were here last year and it was this unorganized and crazy i would have thought they might have improved it but they clearly haven't so I don't really know, a lot of people are leaving, they just left. A lot of people are leaving because they've been waiting so long. But at this point we're like, well, we've got nothing else to do. So we might as well just wait and see what happens. Okay, people are really mad. There's booing going on. I don't know if that's because they're not going to let us in or what. But it's six minutes and 20 seconds until it officially shuts. So it's not looking good. Right, so apparently that's over. We didn't get in. It actually doesn't shut for another three minutes, but there's no one left in there and they don't seem to be letting us in. So we just waited a whole hour of our lives for no reason. Standing for nothing. Hundreds of people were just standing waiting. I think if they just said, by the way, we've reached capacity, we can't let anybody else in, that would have been fine. But it's just about that everyone's been waiting for hours. Well, it's time to leave. We are now gonna see if we can find the train to get back to our hotel we were gonna go catch the train but it turns out the train's actually 45 minute walk away and it's in the wrong direction from where we actually want to go our hotel is actually only two hours walk but it's currently 8 p.m we haven't had tea and if we walk that means we won't get back until like 10 p.m which it will then start to be getting dark and we do not know the way so we've decided we're just going to brave it and go back for the bus it leaves soon ish but it's only a very short walk to get to it and it's the last bus of the night so we're kind of just hoping with everything we have that this works out so stay tuned so we found out that burger king which is kind of on our way back from the bus has a vegan burger so let's go this is amazing i was so worried i wasn't gonna have anything to eat oh my gosh they've got so many options it's literally like in the uk i'm gonna buy everything all right here we are rach went for these like different kind of fries they're kind of like potato wedges so that's fun they were in like the same price let's give them a try shall we mm. you were right they're definitely nice, they're really nice. Normal fry. Not as nice. Vegan nugget. Tastes the same as the UK ones, to be fair. They might just be exactly the same. But really nice. Fanta Zero. I am very pleased. And this came to like $16 for two meals with two drinks. Pardon? Euros. Oops. I try every time. Anyway, we're gonna stay here, enjoy this, and then head back to the hotel. We have now made it back to the room, so we are literally just gonna head to sleep, and I will see you guys in the morning. Well, it's day two. I've gone for the backwards hat walk. Don't know if it's cute or not, but anyway, we are on our way to the bus stop. We've decided to go bus again because the walk from the train is just really long, and we don't want to have to do that. Our first port call this morning, hopefully, is gonna go and get our stuff signed by Lando. We don't know how easy that's gonna be, but we're gonna try. He's on stage at 10.55, I believe. It's 10.45, around there. It's currently quarter past eight, so we have got a while. I think we're literally just gonna try and go there and then get 
hopefully by the stage if that doesn't happen we might go and watch formula 3 practice and then like just quickly come out to see lando but if we're not near the front we're not going to get stuff signed anyway so we're just going to see how it goes and how busy it is so let's do it we're just waiting at the bus stop but we're on the website and this is like the panel from the f3 and f2 drives yesterday and if you can see that hat there and that hat there that is me and rach we're famous it's like when Mike Krasowski gets on that advert <laughs> and then the thing's right in front of his face. But we're taking it. Also, our bus should be here any moment. So, we're on the bus, but we don't think it's our actual bus that we meant to get on. It might be, but it didn't say the right number on the front. It didn't say any number. Did it say any number? It didn't say any number on the bus. So we don't know if we're on the right bus. But the driver said, obviously he saw our hats and he was like, he was like, yes. And we were like, okay, we're going to the track. And he was like, yes. So he was very kind. But we don't actually know where we're going or where to get off. So we're just kind of hoping for the best right now, to be honest. Well, we made it off the bus. We did not get dropped off in the same place we did yesterday. I think this might actually be very slightly closer. Also, pro tip, if you get like motion sick, do not sit backwards on those buses. I felt so sick, that's why I didn't film anything. I was like, I just need to get off this bus immediately. But anyway, we are now here. It's currently 10 past nine, which is just about perfect. Well, we've made it. There's not many people at the stage. There are some, but we're gonna go anyway. See if we can get what we want. Worst case scenario, we'll just see them close up. We might not get things signed, but it's happening. Let's do it. Especially coming back to the tracks in Europe, Barcelona is one of my favorites. Absolutely, it should be quite interesting now with the, the high speed last sector. Should make things a lot more interesting, a lot more fun. That was so good. They didn't sign anything, which was a shame because we were right near the front. We were only on like the second row, but it was so cool. They were right there. That was amazing. We are now heading to go find our seats because we're going to watch the Formula 2 practice. So this wasn't here, or it wasn't open yesterday, but our seats are just up those stairs. We've had our tickets checked to get in. And there's like a food place here, and there's no queue. I mean, I know it is only Friday, but... Oh yeah, we don't, or we do. We're looking for the little cups, because like, it's a little souvenir. Uh, but they've got like, potatoes bravas, cheese, ham, olives. Then they've got sandwiches, snacks burger like they have most of the things you could want so that's quite good obviously there's no alcohol sold here so they've got like alcohol free beer so we have secured the cups they were two euros each so basically it's like a scheme where if you get like a drink in the cup it charges you an extra two euros but then you can take it back and get your money back but because we're not really into soft drinks or alcohol free beer or whatever we just bought the cups empty so they, we just paid 4 euros for two of these little cups which is super cute like a little souvenir 
Also, there are loads of toilets within our section, so you don't need to keep going in and out to have your tickets checked. There's food, there's toilets. The only thing we haven't found is water fountains, but I'll update you if we find them. So it's quite a bit later now. What time is it? So 10 past 1. In 20 minutes, FP1 starts. So we're just gonna chill here and wait for that. So we're not 100% sure because it's kind of far away, but we think that guy in like the beige is Jensen Button. Otmar is the guy next to him who's the principal of Alpine. And we are not sure who the other guy is yet. We haven't identified. Is that definitely him? Don't know, we're not actually sure, but guys, Ocon is right there. The guy in the white top standing next to the cameraman. That is Ocon. I spied him. Actually, I didn't really spy him in his garage. <laughs> There he goes. <laughs> OMG guys, Lewis is just about to get in his car. He's getting in. <laughs> oh, it's time, yeah. Oh, it's time, it's time. Right, come on, Lewis, get me in. So we've just come out for a little walk between, because what is it, F3 or F2? F, F3 quality starts about 10 minutes, but we've just come out for a little walk and I just thought I'd show you guys kind of the busy level. Obviously this is Friday afternoon and it's quite busy. So I don't know how crazy it's gonna get the next couple of days. So we're now sat back at our seats. All the F3 cars are out and ready to go. I don't follow three very, F3 very closely, so I'm not 100% sure, uh, but it'll still be fun to watch either way. 20 seconds until it starts. It's getting exciting. Here we go. So not the best result. But Pepe coming first is pretty cool. And it'll be exciting to see the race uh, tomorrow. Is it tomorrow? Yeah. All right, it's time for the S2 qualifying. I am supporting Oliver Behrman. I have no idea what his number is though. I think it might be eight. I can't remember. So I'll hopefully figure it out at some point. <laughs> Guys, there's two minutes to go and Ollie is put currently in first. Ah, it could all change, but it's looking good. Don't beat him, don't beat him, don't beat him. Oh, phew, he's still in first. I reckon this is it. So, Ollie Behrman is on provisional pole. They said something about being investigated, but we couldn't hear it because it was so noisy. So, we're just hoping now that he is actually on pole, uh, which means actually tomorrow he'll be in 10th and then on Sunday he'll be, he'll start from first. Oh, what is the lighting? It's Franz Tost. So, apologies if there's like those spots on the screen, but it's kind of sunny. We are now on a mission to go and see if we can find Toto. He's supposed to be on the main stage in about five minutes. And then we're gonna head back for FP2. Just while we're walking past, this is the queue for the sandwich and drinks place. This is another place you can get food. I know it is only Friday, merch stores, but it's not super busy, which is really good. Oh, that, oh, that's kind of long. That's a water fountain and this is the queue for it. All the way to there. It's not too bad though, but I guess that's only Friday, so it might get very big as the weekend goes on. I've not noticed that before. <laughs> it's like a little it. stall. Did you? Yeah. Did you not tell me about it? He's selling like massive cups of fruit. I bet they were expensive, but they look good. It's five euros for one of those like cups of fruit. I don't think that's too crazy, but we brought so much food with us, so we're not gonna buy anything. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for the eight-time world championship winning team. So we are now watching free practice too. And 
currently the Ferrari is We have now left the track and just by our bus stop which is over there there's all these stalls I don't know if I showed you another day but they sell beer because there's no beer in this track they've got like burgers and chips sandwiches hot dogs yeah water and some like merch and stuff hopefully our bus comes soon we literally just saw our bus drive past without us so we're gonna have to wait for half an hour now potentially we don't really know though we're just hoping for the best so we're on the bus we waited like an hour so that's interesting it they should be coming every half an hour also it's not actually going where we want it to go it's a sign on the outside saying uh i don't know exactly but it's going to like the center of the town we are staying at but then our place is like maybe half an hour walk from there ish so it's not the worst thing in the world like it's fine with us but it feels like they can just do whatever they want oh and this is the traffic good point so we're not going very quickly, no wonder the bus was late because it had to go through this. This will be us for the next while, I guess. Well, we're off the bus and it drops off in our normal stop. So I don't really know what it meant by it's not going to where we're going because it clearly is. We are now going to go for our evening Burger King. We're then going to nip to the shop to buy a couple of bits and then head back to the hotel. So we've just got to Burger King and we've seen they've got menu McLaren Formula One. We don't know what it what it is. Large combo king chicken. Don't really know what it, what it is, but it's cool. They're partner with Formula One. You have to get the app. Mm, that's a bit of a scam. So we've gone off the idea of the Formula One, but Rach might get one of these Spider-Man pink burgers. Go on, do it. Triple or double McCrispy? Double McCrispy is going to be plenty, isn't it? It's not McCrispy actually, I don't know why I'm saying it like that. I got nuggets again by the way, that's why I didn't film it because it's a bit boring. We have now made it back to our hotel. We brought our Burger King back with us because we wanted to go to the shop on the way which shot at 9. We ended up going to a different shop so maybe that didn't actually matter. But we went in Aldi, I didn't film it because one, I had no hands and two, we literally didn't buy anything interesting. But we are now, and by we, I mean Rach, is now going to try this like pink burger. So let's see what that's all about. Are we ready for the unveiling of the burger? I hope it's not disappointing. I, I hope it's really like pink. In it. You, you might have to just take them off. It didn't say it did though, did it? Yeah. <gasps> Ooh, okay, it's, it's kind of pink. Yeah. It looks like it said it would. Ooh. <laughs> let's have a review. It's okay. Seven. Out of ten. So I said we didn't get anything interesting from Aldi, but that was a big fat lie. We got this. It's not vegan, so it's actually Rach that's going to eat it. But it's Harry Potter themed Kinder Egg, and we thought it might be fun. So here you go. Let's open it and see what we got. Are you open that side? The fun side of the island. If you know what that's from, comment down below. I do. <gasps> don't you? No, I'm not telling you. Oh, yeah, you guys have to tell if she doesn't know. <gasps> this is cute. It's Ron. Look. <laughs> Ta da. Anyway, we are now just going to chill out here for the evening and I will see you guys in the morning. Alright guys, Saturday morning is finally here. It's currently about quarter to eight and we've just left. Actually, I think it's more like ten to, but we were it's supposed five to. Two. Okay, we were supposed to leave at quarter to, so that's good. We're trying to catch the bus at 13 minutes past. Now we've heard that on Saturday the schedules are different, which makes sense because in England that's how it is as well. Um, but they're more like really infrequent and they don't always go from the same place. So we're kind of hoping for the best. If the bus doesn't show up, we might have to try and get the train instead. So stay tuned to see how that goes. We are not potentially going to go and meet all the drivers today just because it was very kind of stressful yesterday because we were sat right at the front. We were kind of getting squashed more closer in. And like obviously if you need anything, like if you need the toilet you can't leave so because we met george and lewis and we were quite near the front when we were in silverstone we're not going to put ourselves through that we're not overly bothered about the rest of them so we're just going to mostly watch the racing we are going to come out for lewis and george but we'll probably be near the back so i'll get some footage hopefully and yeah ollie behrman did get pole so it'll be really exciting in the f2 to see how that goes we're, we're like literally in the middle of a massive road and i'm just trying to vlog well, we made it on the bus. It's about 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes late, but that's fine. 
and we are on our way. But a slight hitch in our plan is nothing major, but we stopped at the main bus stop in the centre of Granoyers and they've said that the bus is leaving in 25 minutes, so we like had to get off the bus. I guess it's like the time for the driver to go on his break. So basically we just sat at the bus stop for 25 minutes and then it's gonna go, which is fine because we're really early. Like we're gonna be there before anything happens anyway. It doesn't make any difference. But it's just something to know, like everything's a little bit all over the place. I don't know if I said this yesterday, but we are gonna walk home today. It's like about five or six miles. So it should take us around two hours to walk. But like last night it took us so long because we waited for such a long time. And then there was a bit of traffic. And then they were like unsure where they were gonna drop us off. And because today's Saturday, the bus times are different, less frequent. We were just like, do you know what? Our lives might just be a lot easier if we just try and walk it. So we'll keep you guys updated on that later. But right now it seems as though it should be fine. We're just having to wait a little bit longer than we thought we would. Is it? No. So we've made it. It's actually quarter past nine. It's 9.14 and I'm pretty sure when I filmed this clip yesterday, it was also 9.14. <laughs> so even though the bus times were a little bit different and we had to wait, we're here. And the first thing to watch this morning is, I've just race. read it, F3, what? I believe, sprint race at 10.05. So let's go. Yeah, I was going to say, the queues have got substantially bigger. It's only Saturday. <laughs> Red Bull drivers and Haas and Alpine are on in about an hour. I don't know if you can really see, but there's a lot more people. Like, we were right at the front when we came at this time yesterday, but we're not that bothered about seeing them drivers, so we're just going to go. Well, we found our seats. We had to go all sorts of ways. Yesterday when we came in, we came up accidentally, kind of, the back stairs. But now, only if you're in the suites, which by the way are those seats right there, can you go up the back stairs. So we climbed about 100 stairs. Then we had to go back down. Then we went up a different set of stairs and now we're here. But they're checking everyone's ticket really thoroughly. We got checked like three times. So uh, yeah, but anyway, we're here and that's what matters. And it's like 25 minutes until the F3 starts. So here's some information. One, the Alpine are about to come on the stage, which we can see the screen from here. But two, apparently the Formula 3 sprint is at 10. I don't know how that happened because we wrote it down. We copied it from somewhere. But anyway, that is at 10.30. It's currently 5 to 10. And then after that is FP3 at 11.15. July. It's not 11.15, it's 12.30. <laughs> Basically, we have no idea what's going on, but anyway, stay tuned. Oops. Turns out I was reading the Sunday page and not the Saturday page. We wrote it all down in this little book, but I was reading the wrong page. So actually, we were right. It's 10.30. Then 12.30, then 2.15 and then 4 o'clock. So, and Mercedes are on at 11.20, so straight after this we're gonna go. This finishes at 11.15, so we're literally gonna sprint downstairs and go see Mercedes. All of the F3 cars are coming out now. But also she just announced Ferrari are coming out next. That's why the queues are so big. I forgot about Ferrari, sorry Ferrari, we do actually love you. But that's why everyone's over there on the thing. But we're just gonna chill here. Guys, this is so fun. We can literally see, like, there's a driver right there. I don't know how loud it is if you can hear me, but right now, all the drivers, so the Ferraris and I think the McLarens, are all, um, like, to him, taking pictures, signing stuff. We're kind of sad we're not there, but they didn't do that yesterday. So we didn't know to go. But we wouldn't have been near the front anyway, so... We're happy we're here and the race starts very soon. Here we are, all the cars are getting lined up, ready to go. This is it guys. The first race of the weekend is about to start. This is so wild, I'm so excited. Oh, here we go, here we go. one lap and there's already a safety car. This is wild. Ready to go racing again. Here we go. Well, we thought it was nearly done, but there's another safety car. This is going well. We have no idea how many laps are left, but here we go. That was so fun. So uh, Pepe came 10th. But 1 to 12 reverse, so we started in 12. So I would say that's not bad. And uh, Sophia, I think, came 24th, so. 23rd. 23rd, there we go, what a result. We are now going to go see Lewis, hopefully, and George in like five minutes. Hello, welcome back. Have we got any Mercedes fans? <laughs> Anyone cheering on George Russell this weekend? Or how about Sir Lewis Hamilton? 
Mountain. Yeah. Well, I was going to say, George, can you speak a bit of the old Spanish? Because you're now dating a beautiful Spanish lady. Carmen is actually just, just behind us. My Spanish is coming along very slowly, unfortunately. This time next year, this time next year, I've, I promise to, to her, to you guys, I need to speak it. I need I'll to do speak this it. interview in Spanish next time then. Lewis, tell me about the changes to the track. Do you like having that last chicane uh, taken out? And how much faster did it feel yesterday in the car? Uh, okay, so I prefer this old... I prefer the circuit the way it is. Like this. But with our car, I prefer the old one. <laughs> oh. Our car is not so good through these two high-speed corners right here. This last one, the Red Bull is, is full gas. Like, flat out. So we were under the impression that Pepe came 10th, but it says over there he came 8th, so I'm not sure about that. But anyway, it's about 45 minutes until FP3, so we're just kind of sitting here, eating our sandwiches and waiting. Guys, we found the um, Sky Sports team over there. Ted's not here this week and somebody else isn't here this week apparently, because they're on a narrow boat on the day. Wow. Simon. Simon. Lazy the uh... I feel like I might be too slow, but Oscar's just got in his car. It's Lando! Lando's in his car! Oh my gosh, Lando! Lando! Yes, Lando! Yes! Yes! yes. yes. Woohoo! Rach said she just saw lightning over there. I didn't see it. I'm clearly oblivious to all, but this could jazz it up. Also, the guy over there put a, like a poncho over his camera. So I feel like rain could definitely happen. I might have even just seen a spot. But then I don't know. Oh my gosh, did you hear that? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Ooh, this is gonna get jazzy. It is only practice. It's not that, it's not that deep. Right, here comes Lewis. This is it now. It's getting serious. Woo! So it's happened. There's a red flag. But we don't know why or who it is. Williams. Logan Sargent. I don't know. It's a Williams though. Yep, it's Logan Sargent. Rach called it. He seemed okay. He was getting out though. Here's Logan walking down. He seems absolutely fine, so that's good. We're not 100% sure, but there's a lot of people over there on that hill with umbrellas. Oh. So we don't actually know if it's raining. It might only be raining over there, but we've got a roof, so we, we can't really tell. I can't see any rain. <gasps> oh, I don't know if I just got that on camera, but that was massive. Guys, it's raining. I can see the rain. You probably can't see it on camera. But it's definitely, it's like maybe Whoa, spitting. No, I oh, I didn't see it. So I guess like the, the, it's green now, they can go out, but they're all waiting to figure out what tyres to go out on and all sorts. Also, Hamilton is third, and now if it keeps raining, that's not going to change. Not that it matters, it's only practice, but still. <laughs> They are now setting up for the F2 sprint race. Two things. One, Fernando is currently on the stage, which isn't actually over there. I'm just pointing at the screen, which is telling me that. But two, it's raining quite hard now, so this race might get interesting. I don't want to film them just in case they get mad at me, but there's literally like 15 policemen right in front of us, and they're all looking up at the top. I'm really scared. I don't know what they're here for. They've got guns and body armor. Something's happening behind us though. Yeah. They've got their own phone past. <laughs> Don't know what that's all about. So, race starts in about seven minutes. There's three policemen there, but the others went past us. Oh, oh. I don't know what's happening with that. Good. Ollie came seventh, 
but obviously I had to get up from 10. I feel like we've got more hope tomorrow. And I was just doing the podium national anthem and then we're moving on to F1. All right guys, this is it. Quali starts in three minutes. Let's do it. It's literally been like four minutes and there's already a red flag. It's one of the Aston Martin. We're going, let's go, let's go, let's go. one by the way <laughs> but we're still happy that's amazing george is out in q2 so that's kind of sad he gained 12 but hamilton and norris are both in q3 this is it q3 let's do it Take it, but Norris third, that's good. Well, this is it until tomorrow. This is the queue to get out, it's enormous. So, we are officially like out of the ground now and out of like the huge crush of people. It's about five minutes to six, and the sat nav, whatever you want to call it, the maps says it's going to take us about an hour and a half which i don't think is too bad so hopefully if we're back slash nearby we probably will go to burger king or somewhere to eat but near our hotel by like half seven then that'll be pretty good so let's see how long it actually takes this walk is going really well so far for a start there's no pass and second there's traffic everywhere and we're trying to like cross roundabouts but anywho but as devs would say an hour and 20 so we can definitely do this well we found more traffic sorry if this footage is a bit shaky because we are walking kind of fast but i think we're about three miles away now so yeah it's going pretty well we're definitely going faster than they are we haven't seen the bus that we would get go past so we know that we're definitely further along than we would be and we did say if we're near a stop and we see it then we could always get on but i think at this point we're kind of close enough that there's probably no point so we are still walking the traffic is like over there on the other side of this park and it's still crawling really slowly but there's actually quite a lot of people maybe like 30 people we can see that are walking so a lot of people are doing this but also we just spoke to this couple and they said because obviously tomorrow we have to go to the airport straight after the race so if you're trying to get into Barcelona, rather than walking to Montmelo station, which is like a 45 minute the other way from the track, if you walk, I think maybe like an hour this way to Granollers station, it's a little bit further, but it means you'll get on the train before everybody else. So you'll get a seat, you'll have like a bit of space and you're like guaranteed you'll get on it. So we're probably gonna do that tomorrow so that we're not risking whether we're gonna get on the train or not because no buses run on a Sunday. Just something to note, I feel like the lighting is really bad because the sun's behind me. But um, we've seen three water fountains since we've been walking. So if you want to walk back or there, if you're like low on water or whatever, you will be able to get fresh water on route without having to like buy it. Well, we've made it to the center. We've actually not been here yet, but it looks really nice. Like it's super clean. It's very busy considering it's seven o'clock on a Saturday night. All the shops are open. Yeah, this is really nice. I really like it here. Wow, we've now found a fun fair with rides, bouncy castle and trampolines. Very random. We don't know if it's always here, what it's for, we literally don't know anything. But anyway, we're like a 25 minute walk away, I think, now, ish. Guys, the best thing ever has just happened. We have to walk up this hill, or we would have to walk up this hill to get to our hotel. I don't know if you can see it, there is an escalator on the street that walks you up the hill gosh i cannot believe this this is genuinely the best thing i've ever seen like what what i, I don't know like what we're literally just in the middle of the street like I'm the most random street and there's an escalator i don't understand but this is so good we are so astonished and i wasn't even using it oh nearly died should be concentrating. There's another one right here. We're going on it. Let's go. Let's go. Here we go. Escalator number two. It's actually more like a travelator, but it is going up. So there's three, but I don't think we need to go on the third one. Oh no, we do. We do. It's fine. We do. 
I can't they're believe it. Because they're so worried because they've got an escalator to get them back home again. I, can, I genuinely cannot believe it. They must. They're literally going all the way up there. These people must be paying a fortune for this when we can't even get our potholes filled. Yeah, it's just on all the time, I guess. Guys, it's still going. We've come from, I don't know if you can tell how far away it is, to here, and there's still like at least three or four more. This is genuinely, I'm the best thing I've ever seen in my whole life. Guys, you'll never guess. You will not guess. So we just walked up to this escalator, and it wasn't on, and I was like, oh my gosh, no, we're gonna have to walk. No, turns out it's motion censored. So once you get on it, it starts moving. This is so good. I'm so impressed. Like, guys, look how high up we are if you look over there. We, we didn't go up here, I don't think, at all. And we're all the way up here. Mm -hmm. right, it's too much. I think we might be nearing the end of our escalator well, journey, no though. Up. If you look up, there's nothing else. That's the top. We have reached the top. Also, Rach has just said there might be more escalator content than actual F1 content. If that's the case, I'm very sorry, but this is just so exciting. I couldn't miss it out for you guys. If you ever come to Grenouillers, as it's called, do not miss the escalator hill. So, there you go. Guys, we're at Burger King. This is the most exciting thing. It's currently quarter past seven, so we've taken an hour and 20 minutes to walk to Burger King, which is no more than a five minute walk to our hotel. And there is potential that if we'd gone directly there, we might have, like, it might have been around the same, but we wanted to come to Burger King, so we came this way. It was an hour and 20, but we didn't really walk on the escalators because we were just having such a good time. So if you really were in a rush, you could probably do it in, like, an hour and 15, which, that's nothing, because Google Maps was telling us an hour and 38, I think. We did walk... Okay, it's like two hours. Yeah, mine was saying an hour and 50 something. We did walk fairly fast, maybe like 18 to 19 minute miles. I'm not a psycho, I only know that because Rach put her watch on, so it would like track it. Um, but anyway, it's time for Burger King. 3.8 miles. So apparently Rach says it's been pretty much exactly 3.8 miles since we left the track and we are here. Yay. It was less than four miles. That's nothing, is it, really? We've just got back to our hotel and they have free snacks. I don't think I'm going to get anything, but they have olives, crisps, Doritos, these little toast things, and tomatoes. How cute is that? You can just take them. We are finally back in the room. Let's have a look at what we have. It's not even eight o'clock. We love it. So I actually got a veggie whopper. I think it's normal mayo, so you have to get it without mayo. But I'm not a mayo eater anyway, so I just got it without sauce or anything. I also got my regular like potato wedges, which are amazing. Oh, and there's a couple that fell out. And I got six nuggets. So I'd treat myself because it's the last Burger King of the trip, unless we get one at the airport. <laughs> so we're just gonna sit, dig into our food, and then I will see you guys in the morning. All right, guys, it is officially Sunday morning. It's about quarter past eight and we're just about to leave. Because of the public transport situation today and the fact that we have all our stuff with us because we are flying home this evening, we are gonna actually take a taxi to the track. So we'll let you guys know how much it costs and how easy it is to get. And other than that, I will see you guys when we get there. I know I said I'd see you there, but we just got the woman on reception to book us a taxi and she said it'd be here in five minutes, but she didn't tell us how much it would be. So we're just gonna kind of wait and hope for the best. And it was very easy, but we just now don't have a price. Well, we've made it to the track. We are literally like the first ones here. There's nobody else around. Our taxi situation was a little bit sketchy. So, not in a bad way. It was just, I don't even know what happened. So, a taxi showed up like 30 seconds after we went outside. And there was nobody else waiting outside. So we thought, well, this must be our taxi. So we got in it and the guy didn't say anything. And we drove to the bottom of the street and we were trying to ask him how much does it cost? So we're like, right, how much does it cost? How much does it cost? We asked him in Spanish. He still didn't reply. And then he was like asking us like what our names were. And we were like told him. And then he was like, no, Caleb. And we were like, oh my gosh, we've stole someone's taxi. So we went back and we were about to get out. And then the people came and they were like, oh, this is our taxi. And we were getting out and they were like, oh, you can stay in if you want. So we're like, yeah, sure. So we had a lovely chat to them, Caleb and his mom. They were Red Bull fans, but they were very nice. We don't actually have anything against Red Bull fans, to be fair. Sometimes if they're in big groups, we, they get a bit rowdy. But they were 
really really nice and um, so we had a good chat to them they were from California and then we were asking them like oh like how much is it gonna cost and they were oh we've already paid they said they paid about 21 euros but if you order it through the hotel they ordered it through an app but I can't remember for the life of me what it was called yeah. never mind I found it it's called Cabify so if you or if you download that app we haven't actually got it but we now know if we ever want to get a cab download the app called Cabify and you should be able to get a more reasonable price they basically said it's kind of like Spain's version of Uber I'm assuming they have Uber in the cities but they didn't have it here so that's kind of the version that you would use but it's the same idea as Uber I think but they said if you order it through the hotel it'll cost about eight euros more so the cheapest way to do it would be to order it through that but anyway they we asked them you know we'll give you half and they're like no it's fine so actually our taxi here was free thank you to those guys that was very kind of them but obviously they were coming anyway they'd already paid so there we go um we are now just sat here and we're gonna wait for the races to begin all right here we go f3 starts in about 10 minutes let's do it guys we have a bin in front of us today and it says on it in i assume catalan spanish and english only plastic packaging cans and bricks <laughs> i was confused rach says bricks are cartons apparently but they've translated into english as bricks <laughs> and i was like what the heck does that mean so yeah that's fun but i'm assuming it's just it's just general waste isn't it because they're not expecting you to go find another bin but anyway we haven't been right there so that's really handy and all the cars are lined up ready to go one minute to formation lap oh engines are running let's do this let's do it so we're rooting for number 23 which is pepe marty and number 29 which is somewhere around here which is sophia flush Marty came first and Sophia ended up in 20th which is really good because I think she started in 27th so she gained seven places and next up is the F2. Also I only really have one complaint about this these seats. Other than that noise which is really annoying. Is that we can't see
I'm hoping for. Or like some type of a dance situation. They are wearing trainers though, if it's like street dance, I guess. What are they gonna do? The anticipation is too much. It's been a while, but something's finally happening. Are they gonna dance? Don't just stand there. Right, all these people need to move up immediately first. Oh. until the race officially starts. Guys, this is super cool. The national anthem is gonna be right here. We've got all the cars setting up here. And we've got a pianist over here, well, a piano. I'm assuming there will be a pianist over here. This is uh, Sky Sports UK filming right here. to get there so Sorry about that dot on the camera, but I can't get rid of it. But anyway, we're on the track. Just because, why not? This is the state of the track. And also, it's just started raining. Like, the race finished no more than 15 minutes ago, and it's raining. That could have jazzed it up. But we didn't want it to, actually, really, because we're quite happy with the result. Something's happening behind that thing, but we can't see. But people are cheering for it. Apparently Toto is getting interviewed right over here, but I can't see him. Apologies about how this looks, unless it's going to get a little bit better. Here we go. Um, a little toilet update for the end of the day on Sunday, if you are interested. It was still fairly clean, but there was no loo roll and was no it soap. Was loo roll in mine? Oh, there was no loo roll in mine. I guess it's just look at the drawer, but there was no soap. So it's like, it was still, was yours clean though? Yeah. Yeah, mine was really clean. So it wasn't awful, it didn't smell. Nope. I would say pretty good considering the situation, I'd take it. So we've been walking for about, I don't know, half an hour maybe, 40 minutes. We're nearly in the centre. There's a lot of craziness going on, but there's some bad news. Our flight is delayed by like an hour and a half. It was supposed to take off at half past 10 and is now taking off at just gone midnight. 
but we have work in the morning so it's a classic us situation really we're now not due to land until like 2 a.m we then have to drive home try and sleep and be up for work in the morning yeah so this is going really well we'll keep you guys i wasn't really going to vlog the way home because i thought it'd be boring but i'm going to keep the vlog going just in case if nothing happens that's interesting i'll do an outro when we get home but at this point it seems like it may well be interesting that's like the most grubbiest window ever So, good news, we've made it to the airport, we are through security, there was literally zero queue, it took us like two minutes, and that's lucky because we did not get here until quite late. If you are interested, it was €9.20 for two of us on the train, so that's €4.60 per person for a single ticket, and also I saw a sign that there's a Burger King here, <laughs> and you know, you guys have been watching the whole vlog, I hope. This will be our fourth Burger King, I think, of the trip. In four days. Yeah. <laughs> but it's a tradition now. It's an evening eveningly tradition to get a Burger King. <laughs> and hopefully our flight will leave soon. It has come back. When I last spoke to you guys about it, it said it was going to take off like really late. Now it's only going to be like 40 minutes late, I think, which isn't too bad. Guys, look what I spy in the distance. By the way, I don't remember ever been at this airport although apparently i have been here a lot of times it's really nice like there's loads of places to eat shops kind of reminds me of the airport in greece remember that one it was quite nice as well like a bit fancy and new but maybe last time i came it was before they redid it i don't know how new this is but it's nice we have the goods it took a while it's very busy but they're very efficient here and it costs like two three dollars more than it did but that's not overly unexpected at the airport.